another sheet mask review. We're doing one from Sweet Chef today. It is from that like trio pack of like serums that I had that I reviewed a while back and it came like a, with a mask or two. So this is the Ginger and Vitamin C Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask, which is for brightening dark spots and uneven tone. So I seem to remember the Ginger and Vitamin C serum was the only one of the three that I liked, so I should like this. They claim selfie approved. Oh, ginger snap. Anyway. Vegan, cruelty-free, free of parabens, and synthetic dyes and fragrances. So I looked online. These are $3.50 a pop. So, I mean, not completely ridiculous or anything. I love the aesthetic of this, how it looks all hand-drawn and everything. Uh, let's see here. So on the back, about the brand. Sweet Chef mixes the perfect daily shot of vegetables and vitamins to freshly boost your skin's vitality and deliver a healthy radiance. Quenching your skin has never been so sweet. Ginger works to neutralize environmental aggressors and revive dull skin, whereas vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps even skin tone and brighten for a radiant complexion. Step 1. Unfold the mask. Gently apply the mask onto cleansed dry skin and smooth onto face. Already did that, except for the putting it on part. Step 2. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Step 3. Remove mask and discard. Gently pat in remaining serum without rinsing. Follow with moisturizer. So... The ingredients are water, glycerin, dipropylene glycol, betaine, ginger root extract, asorbyl glucoside, centella asiatica extract, butylene glycol, paonia sufruticosa root extract, copper tripeptide 1, panthenol, matricaria flower extract, 1,2-hexanediol, PEG60 hydrogenated castor oil, allantoin, glycerol caprolate, carbamer, xanthan gum, ethyl hexoglycerin, potassium hydroxide, lavender oil, tea tree leaf oil, gardenia, florida fruit extract, dextrin, rose flower oil, disodium EDTA. So, alright. Mostly all natural stuff. Let's carefully open this up. That is a real juicy one. I felt like it was splat on my hand just from that. I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. Smells pretty good. Oh, it has pictures on it! I was not expecting that. I was like, what the hell's on the mask? That better not be good. Oh. I had half a second of tell me that it's not mold, because I only saw, like, the corner of, like, one of these in, like, the very edge. I was like, what the fuck is that? And then, oh, okay. Okay, that's why they said it's selfie ready. And this feels like one of those, um cellulose masks. Could be wrong, but it's what it feels like to me. Okay. Oh, that is cute. It does say, oh, ginger snap on it. <laughs> okay. Not trying to flip anyone off, just trying to hold this flat. I've only got so many fingers to do it with. Okay, I think I'm just gonna kind of try to slap this on. Whew! <laughs> Trying to keep it. Oh, the mouth. It's hard with this one. The mouth is cut ridiculously small. Like, my lips don't want to fit through it. I never thought I had big lips, but I'm feeling like Mick Jagger right now with how they don't want to fit through it. Okay. So it just smells like ginger, and I'm gonna go ahead and put all my silicone sheet mask holder over it. Which I realize negates the cute factor, but oh well. Makes it where I can actually multitask while I have it on instead of having to like lay down and just chill with it on. I can actually be productive and get my skincare in, so there we go. And thankfully this one doesn't feel like particularly sticky or anything. Ugh. I'm trying to get it off my mouth. So something tells me you're not supposed to ingest it. <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to like slightly rip the mouth area just a little bit further open so my lips fit through it. Anyway, I'm gonna go set the timer and we shall be back. Okay, so took the headband off too, but still a ponytail. But anyway, I let it absorb in and everything and 
This is nice. It's not like one that leaves a sticky residue behind. If anything, it's almost like a little teeny bit dewy, but that just adds like a natural glow to the skin. I know it's hard to tell right now because it's that annoying part of the day where the window is making the light come in and on the verge of starting doing that ethereal lighting thing. So it looks all foggy-ish here, but like in real life. I can see the glow on like the cheekbones and stuff, but anyway, it feels so soft though. Like ridiculously baby soft. So I'm like, wow, okay, for $3.50 a throw. Honestly, this one feels more worth it to me than a lot to do. Just saying. But again, I'm also not that surprised because it's the vitamin C one. Which ones usually work best for me? There you go. But like, <laughs> um, also from the same brand, like I said. The serum of the same ingredients was the one that I liked out of the three that I tried. The others, not so much. So I'm not that surprised, but yeah, I would say if you're curious about trying a mask from this brand, this is a good one to try. I can't speak on the others. I know I have at least one other one that's different. I don't know if I have others beyond that one, but I know I have at least one more, but I haven't tried it yet, but I wanted to try this one first, so anyway. I'm babbling, but yeah. It's a goodie. I would say try it. At $3.50, you're not uh, breaking the bank, even if for whatever reason you don't like it, so anyway. That is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.